So, November 15, 2011, I guess this would be, right? Since we're counting up the days, not going back in time, but going forward in the past times, right? Not looking backward, looking forward, looking ahead to the future. To the future. I have a lot of lines on my forehead. Anyways, has anyone told you that you were an amazing storyteller? You definitely, like, took back the ideas and the details from the past and, like, brought them all together. Like, when I try to tell stories, it's, it's just rough times. It's like, why do I want to listen to you again? Why are you so boring? And then I'm like, come on, listen to the story. Like, this one time... When I was five, and I was born before that, and then I grew up a little bit, then I turned six, and at that time I was young and stuff, and then I, I soon after that turned seven, then eight, nine, ten, more years came up, and I was almost a tenth of a century years old, and a lot of cool things happened. Anyways, yeah, so my week was kind of stressful, busy. Not all the goals I set for myself this week were reached, but hey, you know, want to fall off the horse, you get back on it. If I only knew how to ride a horse correctly. So yeah, some people have been to camp meetings, some people have been to camperies. I guess it's pretty much the same thing that happened at camp. One, you're there for meetings, and the other, you're like, hooray! Capri's for a bunch of kids with little adult supervision. We're going to make slingshots and ride horses all day and ride bikes. Eat ice cream on top of unicorns. Not that I've done that. How greasy does my face look? Lots of greasy. That's what happens in November when it's hot outside. I think today was kind of like 82. Crazy, right? In fall, who would have known? Anyways, today's vlog is brought to you by me. I brought it to you. But these are good biscuit cookies. They are shortbread citrus flavored cookies. They may contain traces of soy, peanuts, and I forgot the other thing. Does it matter? What matters is they're good. FYI, I usually don't like eating foods and like crinkly bags because they tend to be unhealthy and whatnot. But it's close to the weekend. Why not? Live a little, James Parks. Live a little. Anyways, thank you for the blog. I was like, is she a... Is this person actually going to do this? You know? Is this going to happen? Are we going to be able to make this whole, you know, conversation work? Huh? Are we? Camp meetings are fun. You get different age groups hang out with their age groups and you usually see people that you haven't seen in a long time at these places like oh whoa Billy I haven't seen you in like 15 years and I'm not even 15 years old so that's how long we've known each other. Camp meetings are also fun because on Saturday night after the camp meeting, usually there's like a bunch of fried items. But before that, you have all the, the craziness that happens with a bunch of people getting together. And just the whole fun, imagine a camping trip with maybe a few of your friends. Now, amplify this and multiply it by, say, 100, 200 of your closest friends. There you go. Camp meeting. Campery. You always have the people pulling your pigtails, and I hate when that happens, because I used to have a lot of pigtails back in the day. Believe it or not, I used to have long hair. <sighs> All good things must go, right? Nope, that's not how it goes. But with hair, that's probably how it works. Anyways, yeah. Glad this week is almost to a close. I wouldn't have it any other way. Good thing it's not Monday. Of course I'd have to check my calendar because I'm not sure if it's a Monday or not. It's just so stressful. 
Working at work, people not ringing bells. It's <clears throat> mm, yes. Have I made myself entirely clear? I hope so.